Hey Patriots, real quick before the video begins, I just want to say that the footage you are seeing is not the full session of the playthrough I originally recorded. About a little over halfway through the recording, for some reason my footage became real choppy and ended up looking like a slideshow, so I do apologize about that. But however, I don't make it too too far when the recording started messing up, so the next time you see episode 2, it will be where I left off, which is not very far from where the recording messed up, so I do apologize for that. So anyway, I appreciate your understanding. And thank you very much for watching. Hey there Patriots, hope you're doing well. In today's video, we're going to be playing Atomic Heart. Now originally, I did not actually plan on playing this, but since it is on Game Pass, I decided to go ahead and give it a try. But mainly the reason why I did not plan on playing this, at least as of anytime soon, is because I am still currently going through my Dead Space playthrough, and I also still want to make content on Stalker. So if you are new to the channel and you are interested in seeing those, make sure to check those out as I will continue to be uploading those. But also, I'm also kind of just testing to see what happens with this game. I don't know if I'm going to be uploading a new episode of this like maybe next week or something like that. It depends on what I'm feeling and what the schedule is looking but this is just mainly going to be a test to see uh, if people are interested in seeing a playthrough of this and if people are then I probably will put this on a higher priority scale than my Dead Space playthrough but if you are interested in long playthroughs that are very minimally edited um, I try and keep dialogue to a minimum whenever there are cutscenes and dialogue. So if you're interested in watching more immersive and longer playthroughs where I just go around and explore, then make sure to subscribe for that and make sure to keep on watching because that is what I'm going to be doing in this playthrough. So let's go ahead and select new game. Uh, okay, what's this? Is this difficulty? Okay, this is difficulty. So I know gameplay wise, this is more similar to Bioshock. This is kind of like a spiritual successor to Bio uh, Bioshock. Um, I'm probably one of the few people out there who've actually never played Bioshock. So real quickly, I'm probably gonna cut it out. I'm gonna read through all the, all the descriptions of, of the difficulty and it'll go from there. So, we'll see what difficulty I pick. Okay, so Armageddon is obviously the hardest difficulty. Local malfunction sounds like it's a balance between not being too hard, but also not being easy, which makes sense because it's medium difficulty, but a lot of times games say medium difficulty, but it's either a little easier or a little harder normally. Um... I think I'm going to pick medium difficulty because these types of style of gameplays I'm not very familiar with. But obviously, if I uh, play through this game again, then I will obviously be choosing Armageddon. But for now, we are going to be choosing Local Malfunction. I really love this place. Good vibes. The Chevrolet complex was built from the ground up to be the ideal comfortable workplace. Candy Glove. I've been here before. Also, I forgot, uh, I apologize for intruding, but I've heard that the English voice acting is really, really bad. So let me see if I can switch it over to um, Russian real quick. Damn, looks like there's really no way of doing that. Well, I guess we'll just have to put up with uh, terrible English voice acting. Mind to work here. 
you'd care for some more soda, comrade? Sure, thanks. Looks like another bot got stuck in a tree. <laughs> that always cracks me up. still working on the robot's navigation system. Yeah, I noticed. Wow, what a beautiful day. I hate to intrude right now, but this game, like visually, is one of the best looking games I've seen in a while, besides the Dead Space remake. I'm pleased to hear you don't have any questions for once. You dickhead. Before I continue on, I need to kind of calibrate my settings real quick. Uh, mouse sensitivity feels a little bit too fast, so I will go ahead and change that real quick. Okay, this feels a little better. functions as a personal telephone set and headlight, but it also allows the user to get used to wearing it on their head. It, it's free, right? Absolutely. Allow me to connect you. Hooray for communism. All right, then.
to access your biometric data. There's some sort of malfunction. I'm so sorry. Ah, don't sweat it. I'm not really a jewelry guy anyway. So long. I do apologize. Have a great day. Hey, you, experimental glove. I get the feeling you'll be more useful than this goofy contraption on my forehead, since you're so special and all. You'll see how special I am soon enough. But you ought to refer to me as Charles, a chatting artificial librarian and educational system. <laughs> I'll call you whatever I feel like, glove. So far, the environmental storytelling is pretty good. I always love a game that makes me feel immersed with its world. They're scary looking. Everyone here seems so happy and content. Just like in China. You've been to China, Comrade Major? I've been everywhere. I mean, everywhere except for China. Facility 3826 isn't all that far from our Chinese allies. I like their spirit, and I hear it's nice there. Indeed it is. You know, this game actually kind of introduces, like, a scary thought of the whole, like, utopian, dystopian world that this is. Everything seems so happy, and there's no bad that could happen to this place but yet everyone's all been uniform to tr to think alike all because of the use of technology and this technology is being used to invade our thoughts and to invade our privacy all in the guise of to make us happy it's kind of scary to see how technology is going that route right now as we speak Major Nichai reporting for duty on Comrade Sessionoff's direct order. Welcome, Comrade Major. Today is a joyful occasion. The birthday of Collective. Yeah, yeah, many happy returns. Cut to the chase, would you? I've got places to be. Naturally. This is the future of Soviet education. A personal project of Dr. Sessionoff's poly education. Gone are the days when Soviet citizens had to spend years studying at educational institutions. From this moment on, just inject a special neuropolymer encoded with the education you want, a university-level natural sciences curriculum, for example, and you'll instantly become an educated member of society. Want to learn Korean? Or get a doctorate in nuclear physics? Or learn to play the piano? With Collective 2.0, you can! Yeah, 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 been there, done that. Skip the foreplay, bot. Excuse me, of course! Your particular case definitely calls for something more efficacious. Nevertheless, you will still need an initial neuropolymer injection. <laughs> Comrade Sechenov is expecting you, Agent P3. I've been informed of your imminent arrival. Here, take this capsule. Activate the scanner, hold left, alt. Demon, be gone. 
For your information, that's a highly user-friendly gesture. It was developed by our leading expert in the field of advanced interpretive avant-garde absurdist Dadaism. Whatever that guy's been smoking, sign me up. Didn't you say you were in a hurry just a moment ago? Shut your trap and keep scanning, would you? I'm getting acquainted with the new hardware. You are now capable of seeing hidden objects. This ability could prove very useful in the future. But for now, please continue with your mission. I definitely know that this right here will be used for a lot of functionality for the game. Definitely, as a hinted, finding secrets. There's going to be just you know, to see what I can do with that. Man, the scale of this building is just amazing. Such a cool looking city. I will lie, the English voice actor is no actually starting to grow on me a little bit. His personality kind of reminds me of V. These are the robot mommies that everyone's been making memes about. I get it now. You two wouldn't perhaps uh, be able to submerge me, would, uh, would you? I'm gonna take that as a no. Like it in the whole USSR. I built it for all mankind. 
Not for myself. Humanity is on the verge of great discoveries. One day we'll reach the stars. These castles in the sky will be the beginning of our journey to the farthest reaches of the universe. I'm merely helping humanity realize its own greatness. You're a dreamer, Dr. Sechenov. <laughs> Fantasy and science go hand in hand. Most modern inventions were described long ago in science fiction. Flying machines, space travel, even robots. Are you telling me you got your ideas from sci-fi novels? I got them from the dreams of mankind, P3. Man was born to dream, to do great things. But unfortunately, there are those who wish to crush those dreams. And that's where men like you come in, Sergei. Men sworn to defend mankind and its destiny. Need me to get rid of somebody, boss? You're very relaxed about it, my boy. I hope it won't come to that. But let's take it one step at a time. First, you'll need a substantial glove upgrade. Report to the lab. A Tereshkova robot will meet you there and take you to the Vavilov complex. Understood? Yes, sir. I'm getting in the car right now. So, so far, definitely a pretty long intro. Been going for about 20 minutes now, and there's yet to be any hint of combat but I I, uh, I understand why it's like that and I absolutely have no problem with it either I can tell that these developers are trying to tell a story not only narratively but visually too and they're trying to make you soak up as much of this art as possible so you can really immerse yourself in this universe that they've created. Please secure your seatbelt. We wish you a very pleasant journey. Isn't there supposed to be a radio in here? The entire Soviet Union is ecstatic about the unveiling of Collective 2.0. Yeah, I just came from in every I get it. The American government is expressing deepening concern about the skyrocketing unemployment figures following the deliveries of remote workers from the We've got plenty of thought devices. There won't be a shortage, said People's Deputy Alexander Shalchinov in response to widespread concern in the city of Ozyoks. How about some music? That's more like it. I hope this ain't copyright. This is actually really cool. I feel like this is probably something that a lot of like Bioshock fans would really love. So right now the game's like showing you the scale of the city. And I think this is really cool. What did you just say? I said the signals on the fritz, but thanks anyway, Herr Stockhausen. Doctor Sechenov already filled me in. Those Don't clouds look really good. Nope. For some reason, your response didn't surprise me at all. Guess I don't have any respect for brown noses. Tell me, is there anyone you do have respect for? Sure, but respect is earned. Dr. Sechenov has mine because he saved my life on the operating table. Everybody else needs to earn it. Anyway, why the hell are we riding a jalopy strapped to a damn robot? Were all the jets taken or something? Shit. Riding turbines is an important tradition. It's a way to remember the days when Facility 3826 was brand new, as we used to ride these vehicles to our very first scientific complex. Fair enough, but why is it a tradition to have them pulled by bumblebees? And why do we call them bumblebees when they look more like flying pigs? Flying pigs? Have you seen flying pigs before? How about flying cows? Yeah, and the condor. One time some genius like you forgot to put up a fence, but those cows only flew in one direction. Straight down. I have a suggestion, Congress Major. Why don't you worry about your mission, and I'll do the thinking for both of us. Shut the hell up, Glove. I'm trying to listen. To what? Is there anything here you haven't seen yet? I've never been here before. Zip it. What? How come? I don't know, damn it. Now quit bugging me. My apologies. So people said that the voice acting is bad. I mean, while it's not like super amazing I think I understand the style of voice acting they tried going with this 
I, I, the as I said before, the voice actor for the main character is really starting to grow on me. He reminds me a lot of V as uh, as personality wise. do gotta say this game looks really good and also runs very well too i was honestly expecting the game pass version to run like shit but the game pass version is actually running very well i'm at max settings on a 2080 ti and this is easily like 60 plus frames capable of supplying electricity to the entire bdnh as well as the friendship of people's park nearby settlements and the maglev train lines Maglev train stations connect all of Facility 3826, allowing personnel to travel from one complex to another with comfort and ease. I feel like right now they might we be showing off the open world. Of the Motherland Monument, erected in if this game is open world. The Soviet Union's victory in World War II, and are now entering the grounds of the Vavilov Complex. The site where Facility 3826's numerous agricultural miracles took root. You are now observing the Soviet Sickle Monument, designed by sculptors Elena Mukhina and Alexander Kibelnikov, and autonomously erected in 1951 by the Collective 1.0 Neural Network with the help of robot builders. Note that this effectively makes it the world's first collaborative artistic effort between man and machine. Our brief guided tour is coming to an end. Facility 3826 is always ready to welcome new specialists from anywhere in the Soviet Union. We are confident that you will be thrilled to live and work in this world of revolutionary breakthroughs and fantastic scientific achievements for the glory of the Communist Party and the Soviet people. The drop is initiating combat maneuvers. Initiating what? For real? Watch out! Now, what am I supposed to do about it? What the? Please do not unfasten your seatbelt. Oh shit! Has come to a complete stop. Is this where everything falls apart? You is this when the AI takes over? You are now at the laboratory eight of the Ravenloft Principal Firm facilities. Have a nice day. Take my hand, Comrade Major. I will escort you to the Vavilov Complex. What in the sweaty hell is going on here? Unfortunately, I have no information on the subject. All the robots have been carrying out their normal operations until they suddenly became hostile. Oh, what the hell I are you slipped. doing, you lousy bot? Get your rusty metal asses out of here! That was really very rude of them. The elevator is now operational. Fuck off, bitch! Our ascent is once again continuing normally. A Drova towing robot will be here shortly to perform magnetic coupling and take us by air to... Son of a bitch, not again! Oh, help me, Comrade Major! I'm falling! What the shit? 
shit. Fuck. That was one hell of an intro. I get why people who are very impatient don't like it. But me, on the other hand, who loves store good stories visually, narratively, I actually really like that intro. Wizard, this is P3. Come in. Sergey, are you alright, my boy? I'm okay, boss. But nothing here is the way it's supposed to be. Whatever's going on clearly started a while ago. Victor Petrov is the reason. He's a traitor who hacked into Collective's central hub and caused the civilian robots to attack the Soviet employees. Petrov has the access codes for the hub. Oh my god, that made the pig mad! Target is Viktor Petrov. My mission is to find him and bring him to you. Exactly. Session all that. Hello? Okay. I've been playing a lot of Skyrim, so this kind of combat might, uh... Might suit me just well. Okay, so that's collecting parts from them, which I assume will be used for upgrades. I've swum through polymer plenty of times and haven't drowned yet. It's a freaking miracle of modern science. Pretty fucking cool. At the Vavilov complex. Got it. I can deal with that. Where should I start looking? Petrov is currently somewhere in the underground levels of the Vavilov complex. We'll have to find a way inside. Okay, let's do it. Hey, you. I'm coming. Just trying to shove my face down in the fucking poop hole. Oh, go fuck yourself. Get the fuck off me. What are you gawking at? Almost choked to death there. Give me a hand. Oh, I didn't see that coming. Mm. You should be more careful. This place is a damn mad house. Yeah, I noticed. Uh -huh. Thanks for the help. No now. sweat, Sonny. What are you doing here, anyway? Oh, just passing through. Who are you? Me? Zena. Granny Zena. 
That's all you need to know. Fine, I get it. So what's going on here? Lots of casualties. I don't know if you noticed, but the robots are attacking people. Anyone who couldn't find a place to hide is dead meat. I could really use a weapon. You got anything? Of course. But I'm not giving you shit. Beneath us is a complex. If you need a weapon, go down there. The Vavilov complex? That's where I'm headed. Ah. Well, today's your lucky day. I'm heading that way too. It's basically safe. Shit! It's a chilla! Son of a bitch! We've got 30 seconds! Move your ass! 30 seconds until what? Uh, 30 seconds until we're fucked, sonny boy. Royally fucked! No good. Get over here, beefcake! Now, 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 now! Take this key and turn it clockwise. I said clockwise, idiot! Yeah, like that. I'll hold him off for now. You got a hell of an arsenal there, lady. What are you planning? Here we go. You've been riding my ass for two days now. Take that. Eat shit and die. Holy shit, how far does this go down? Alright, that was really far down. Holy shit. What a goddamn clusterfuck. This is definitely a stealth mode. We need to find a way to open this armored door. Gee, you think? Enough with the lame advice, will ya? Why don't you tell me Put more you about the How'd they track him down anyway? Petrov's betrayal was discovered by Mikhail Stockhausen. He was then arrested by the Argentine unit. So how'd he end up here? After the trial, Petrov was sentenced to community service and sent back here as a prisoner. What, they couldn't find anyone else in the whole Soviet Union to do his job? Gonna talk shit long, now, shit fuck? A few months away. Replacing the lead engineer would have been foolish. Petrov had to finish what he'd started, and that's what they made him do. What's so special about the guy? Victor Petrov was previously the lead engineer of a secret department within the Academy of Consequences. Dedicated to programming robots for Collective 2.0. Right. Okay, so I wonder if these will be used for anything over here? Oh, I see it's all the way back here. Okay, game giving off a little bit of horror vibes. Oh ho ho, a KS-23 you say? I really hope this thing actually operates like a KS-23. And that's actually pretty cool. Okay, safe areas. 
for grooms or game safe areas. You just quote manual save machine. Okay. So it's just like uh, Resident Evil. Nice. 